Hi guys, it's Phil from TeachBlend and in this video we're going to have a look at Microsoft Image Creator and AI. We'll look at how we can make those amazing 3D looking images and avatars of ourselves but we'll also look at how to create effective prompts and how you can actually create a prompt template that you can share with your other learners, students, staff, whoever it is. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, like and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to designer.microsoft.com. From here then, sign in using a personal account, choose Image Creator, and choose Generate. From here then, you're able to enter in a prompt to create your image, and you just describe this. But you can also use the templates. That's what we're gonna do to create this 3D one. So choose this template here, the cartoon style, and then enter in the content that you need. So describe yourself in the placeholders. You can see I'm doing mine very quickly here. Once I've done that, choose generate, and it will generate the 3D based image that we're after in this example. You can see that's here. What you can also do is you can then go back into here and edit little bits and refine it. You can also choose edit entire prompt and that will give you much more control and you can add extra things. I've also included a prompt template for you. So click in the description and this template adds a lot more detail and you can describe yourself and it will produce fantastic results. You can see an example here of me. What you can also do is you can even edit my template that I've created and you can create your own. So choose share and then from here, click continue and you'll see here that you can enter in prompts and variable fields. You can do this for any template and create your own templates for whatever image you want. It's really important to remember that to describe the image you're creating and also use brackets to allow the user to enter in. What I also do is actually make this in Word and then paste that in and that produces much more better results. It, it just essentially allows you to create them. From there then, you can copy the link paste it in and anyone with your template can create it. So imagine creating prompt templates for your students. Another thing that you can also do then is generate those images based off your prompts and you can use this with whoever. I hope you found this video useful.